Okay, folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of Three Kingdoms 11. This is Mysterious JG. Um, when last uh, we were together, gentle viewer, uh, we was getting ready to uh, put a hurtin' on one of the Southern Warlords, although we've got a little ways to go before we reach that Southern Warlord. We're also getting ready to put a, another hurting on Liu Zhang, although Liu Zhang is personally uh, hiding out in the far southeastern corner of China. And like getting where I guess uh, these mountains you're seeing down here are probably like the remote, remotest, well not remotest, but the most sort of northwestern or west or eastern part of the Himalayas, really. And uh, yeah, Liu Zhang is hanging out down here. He's got uh, not a whole hell of a lot at his disposal. It looks like one of his units is on was on its way to Yunnan, deepest, darkest non-mon territory try to take that place over and start building up something there, but I don't... Liu Zhang, I don't, I don't think that that's going to, to be enough to save you, buddy. Yeah, my turn is over. Well, there's some units that still haven't moved, though. Who hasn't moved? Probably uh, my good friend over here. You don't know what? Let's, uh... Let's just cut to the chase and figure out which one of my units hasn't moved. Uh, on your way, Yang unit is active. Yu Fang's unit is active. Shenyi's unit is active. Alright, well, it's probably somebody up here. That I just ordered them to a specific spot. Another. I saw a red flag there. I thought that was like a Ma Tang unit hanging out over there. Nowhere near as confused as I got when I saw a Liu Bei unit hanging out over there, but we figured out the answer to that one since, and it's kind of kind of weird. 60 days worth of food. How much farther have you guys got to go? This is before you get to a city that I haven't conquered yet, but will eventually conquer. orders in the next turn or he's going to go an even longer way around than is necessary and or helpful. Cao Cao's out there uh, cruising around in a boat, motherfuckers. Cao Kong runs that place. Is uh, this still, Cao Cao still personally hanging out at this port? Yes. Cao Cao is the ruler and master of that one port. Not a port city, a port. Kind of interesting if uh, the AI's screws up in such a way that Cao Cao gets captured by Sun Quan before his empire's, you know, really even hurting. It looks like they are aiming for Jian Yi. All right, they are actually going to try to start a counterattack at long last, a field battle, to determine the fate of Liu Zhang's territories. All right, you've got 180 days worth of food if you take all of it for yourself. How much of your friends here got? 110 days? 120 days? Three 
else and food there for somebody else to try to pick up and use. end up running out of food, it will probably not be a long time that you spend out of food. Transport units. How many days behind you, Yang? the officer sounds on. I haven't had the officer sounds on in a long time, I don't believe. They keep crashing the game. Or, yeah, let's get them back, though. Taking over entire cities, conquering big swaths of empire without the cool it sounds. It's criminal, I know. God. You know what, folks? Let's have some fun. Let's, uh, send Mr. Sirius out. On his own. Uh, tons of bows. He sucks at bows, though. He kinda sucks at everything, doesn't he? Can you even use incinerate? No, he can't use any tactics. But I'm gonna send him out there. Yeah, and which means that it doesn't really matter, uh... Not Joe Yoon, Mr. Serious. I'm gonna earn him some, uh... He's gonna attack these gates and get some deeds. These guys are gonna have to either pull back and try to stop him, in which case he'll immediately retreat, or, um... He'll be completely unopposed. Why did I give him a thousand gold? I just let it take the default... I give him the default amount of gold. That was stupid. Uh -huh. Zhao Yun Liu Bei ready to team up to make a farm. And Yon Kai will drill the troops. Excellent. Mr. Sirius? trusting you to go out on your own. Now, we've tied a note around your neck so that if anybody finds you, they'll know how to call your parents to get you back to Shu. But, uh, you just have fun and be safe attacking Mind Jiu Gate. Alright? Good boy. Okay. I sure hope that the, uh, uh, the guy who created the Mr. Series character is, uh, having fun with the fact that he got the worst possible role ever and I'm now treating him as a lovable, retarded child. But um, if he's not, he's probably not watching anymore at this point. If that doesn't, uh, if that doesn't find that amusing, I it's probably had sense to move on. <laughs> All right, get in there and supply them. Yes, huzzah. Wait, how much food is he carrying with him? Maybe I need to come up with a different strategy. <laughs> Maybe. Would it be possible, do you think, for him to get to, um, this unit here? 160 days! Understood. Let's have them meet in the middle of the ocean somewhere. They rush together like lovers separated by star-crossed fate. Finally reunited. It's, uh... that I recruited without realizing he was actually in the field at the time. And his passionate love affair with the Zhujing. I'll just head towards them. How 
hopefully they will get fit. They'll, they'll, they'll get to as fast as they can. Yeah, everybody else has orders in what direction they're meant to be heading in, so... Alright, well, sorry, Jushu, you're not gonna get those supplies that you thought you were gonna get, but, um... You can just go buy some food instead. Yeah, you can start hiring officers. Excellent use of action points. have disappeared. Well, who cares? Ah, that's a lot of food coming into that city. Alright, looks like they're gonna ignore Mr. Sirius, much to their peril. Okay, Mr. Sirius. This is your chance to prove yourself. Let's see what Mr. Sirius' deeds are. Late Han Officer always leads the vanguard in major battles, exhibits strength in defense, and during times of crisis. Uh, you know, yeah, it sounds nice and all, but that's about as as weak as a description as you're going to get. They usually praise you a little bit more than that. Right now, his loyalty is 100. He has 4,360 deeds. That seems pretty high. Because he was involved in taking that city. Let's look for... No, you know, I don't know. Mr. Sirius. It's not your fault. Oddly enough, it's not your fault. I used the wrong buttons. But I'm glad you asked the question first. Good boy. Alright. Let's check up on some officers in the city that are not, like, really... Alright, move on. Who cares about him, right? He's got no kind of deeds. Zinkai. She's got 10,000 deeds. Yonkai. 1450 deeds. Yeah, so that's like a a real officer. Mr. Sirius has more deeds than them, so pretty cool. And we decided that he had deeds of, um... He had deeds of 4,300... whatever it was. Let's see what happens when he takes this defenseless gate. Guy. Mr. Sirius be promoted to officer. Guan Ping will get demoted to the same level as Mr. Sirius. <laughs> wow, Miju is being de 
demoted. Wasn't that the Ube's wife? Uh, I don't know what it is you're demoting her for, buddy, but um, I hope you realize there's going to be some repercussions for that. Alright, now you guys have titles. Go out there and do honor to the Han and stuff. Meanwhile... Working together with Pancakes Guy for the good of the on and stuff. Let's get those uh, markets going. For some reason, they got a ton of food, not that much gold in the last turn. Ying is going to get resupplied. So, I'll just march. Uh... Oh, oops, we got officers need to be rewarded. We got, off. we got Guan Yu marching out of here. We might as well take all the gold with. Yeah, we don't really care about that. Now they can choose to reinforce this gate, or they can try to attack us from the other side. Well, at least one of them is an archer unit, so they'll probably just start to take pot shots at us. Is the archer unit the one that's closest? Yes, it is. They are just probably going to shoot at us. Well, these guys are probably just going to go into the, uh, the gate and reinforce its numbers. None of this will save them once uh, I finally get uh, Huang Yue Ying's unit in position, but right now it ain't in position. So. Kids. Yeah, but G-Tong is fucked. As soon as I get past those two guys, they do not have enough to save it. Mr. Sirius, uh, I don't think he has enough strength to take it on his own. But in the next turn, he's going to march out from Mind Gate and take over Peishui Gate to add to his own glorious reputation as a warrior. Pretty cool, dudes. Looks like Chao Chun felt Cao Cao's, or felt to move Shun Quan's army when I wasn't paying attention. Changed these units were destroyed. You weren't able to employ Wuban. Oh well. He can rot in jail for a little bit longer. Yeah, I knew this was coming. It seems like they are not going to attack the gate itself. Or reinforce the gate. They're just going to try to stall us by hanging around on the other side of it. Always seems to be this force too. Do, 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 do. Let's take every drop of gold out of here, buddy. Take that extra 67 food that you found in there too. It's like, ooh, floor pie. Do, 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 do. 
Let's enhance your prestige by taking another gate. Yeah, Mr. Sirius is the gate master. So what uh, makes the map look very different, of course? spend a couple of turns completely building up these cities back here before I can put them into their own little district under the control of an officer. Uh, you know, automated computer controlled officers. And, uh, no, not that. I want, uh, officer info. Deeds. Six, yeah, so you get a thousand, uh, deeds every time you take a gate, so that's good to know. because they're not going to... They're just going to stay there and block us from getting through. Already not looking forward to this. Like, might just need to send somebody from Chengdu to attack Zhitong instead. And just, you know, say, hey, you know, the idea of having Guan Yu's forces attack from the other side was still perfectly sound. It, it drew away the defenders from Zhitong. I was always going to be able to beat the defenders at Zhitong, but... Traitor to the Han, don't you? Don't you? Don't you wish your girlfriend was a traitor to the Han? stopped off in here, they're treating it like, uh,
understood. Yay. Oh, you still got more uh, food, though. I guess she can only have so much at a time. Now they're setting us on fire because they're jerks. Okay, that was fun. It managed to hit these guys, but not the 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 surround penetrate whatever attacks hit these guys, but not these guys, and I heard Guan Yu's guys. Excellent. Shuge <laughs> Leong. Excuse me. Smartest strategist ever, unless he's taking orders from me. for uh, Jin Juan, but he's got Sha Mok fighting on his side. Oh yeah, he's under attack by other army guys. Jin Juan is personally leading a crappy spear unit against the reasonably competent uh, cavalry unit. Like, it's pretty damn good cavalry units, S, but there's only three, like 3,700 of them. Yeah, it really doesn't matter who wins that battle, folks. I'm taking that city over from whoever wins it. And, uh, I think they know it. Xiao Fan's forces, home amongst others to Shi Grimith and Branded Elemental. Let's see if, uh, Mr. J JG Mysteries has found a home yet. He's in Jian Yi. I believe this is the city that it used to belong to me at the beginning of the game, the one that I lost. No, that's Jin Yi. I don't know what the, the difference is between all these cities. I don't have enough. Well, I don't know. I've got AP if I wanted to. If, if he's someplace where I can recruit him, I could attempt to recruit him. Yes, time for you to find a worthy master to serve, Juan Zhang. Let's send Men Jian out there to get you. Away from Han Juan, Juan Zhang. Thanks to Men Jian. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Let's hire all of his best officers before we attack him. Screamy? Ooh, Doom Screamy might actually come to work for us now. He thinks that Jushu has a chance. Keep your fingers crossed, folks. Doom Screamy would be a great officer. Almost all the created officers have stats that are just out of line with what regular old officers in this game should have. So, yeah. By all means. 
Let's get her in our army. Get her to actually start serving the Han instead of uh, debasing herself serving the vile forces of the tyrant Cao Cao. Though, you know, once she gets here, she wants to debase herself, uh, you know, for the pleasures of Liu Bei. Hey, that's a whole different story. Alright, um, yeah, that got creepy in a hurry to... Search for gold on the floor. It bothers me to have an officer here who's not doing anything, but... Still costs 700 gold, and he just can't really accomplish very much. I shouldn't make... I shouldn't have had him outfitting by himself on that previous turn, actually. So Quain has his own city. That's pretty cool. by the kind of defense they're putting on up here. But I don't know if I can be bothered to do anything about it. In the meantime, Mr. Sirius, with his 5,000 not very good bows, does not need to be hanging around when uh, Xi Tong has uh, a chance to actually do something about him. No, there's we just haven't moved yet. What the? I just completely blanked on that. Turn and just wasted. I just wasted somebody's turn. Crap. You can't remunerate your people with uh, those are both like gates. This is going to be Liu Zhang asking for another ceasefire. Oh, it's you, of Liu Zhang's army. Welcome. What are you business do you have today? Your force is holding is holding Liu Jun captive. Please release the prisoner for one thousand five hundred ninety gold. What, are you saying you want us to release Liu Jin? No, I was wrong. It's not a ceasefire. They want an officer back. Absolutely. Uh, I'll capture him again in uh, a couple turns. All right, I agree to release the prisoner. I've now fulfilled my orders. If you'll excuse me, then. Excellent, folks. Excellent. Oh, we got 1,500 gold for this dude. Uh, who is barely going to have time to get home before we take the city. though with them they're all their troops stacked up kind of behind it you in the meantime can come uh, try and reinforce uh, Leon and uh, mr. serious well done young man let's get you home before you hurt yourself Continue to spam domestic. Why does he want to join up? Um, 
buddy. So more to let way on is uh, exactly the kind of guy that you would expect to uh, suddenly forget who he's supposed to be loyal to. situation where there's not a whole hell of a lot I could have done to prevent it. Okay, so I'm gonna use my action points up and then end this whole turn here. And then we'll start a new video with a new turn and just excitement. Let's end the turn, watch what happens, and we'll have a fresh turn to begin. Ooh, the next video. Sorry, folks. Somebody took something from Sun Kwan's army. Unfortunately, he didn't employ Huang Zhang, which sucks. I really want to get Huang Zhang. I have no excuse, I'm afraid I wasn't able to convince Liu Pan. Okay, as long as I get Doom Screamy. Doesn't look like that one's gonna come in yet. Out of food, eh? There'll be unrest amongst the soldiers. They're gonna ask you, why the hell did we betray our forces to join Shu right in the middle of Wu? Oh, it's Yan Yan. For a minute I thought that was Wang Zhang, that he was like. We're trying to get him to turn in mid-battle. But no, folks, that's not what we're doing. Okay, so, anyway. That's the end of this video. Uh, Alright, folks, so, we're continuing on our merry way towards conquering Shu. Um... That video was uneventful in a way, mostly because Liu Zhang's just using the irritating tactic of having somebody just hang around on the other side of the gate, not try to hold the gate, just try to prevent you from being able to leave. But, uh, you know, he's just stalling for time because it's basically over for him uh, at this point. If he ever had a chance of conquering China, it's long gone. But, um, I thank you for watching, folks, and uh, when we come back, I will continue uh, taking over Shu. And, um, yeah, then we just gotta figure out who's gonna be next. Uh, so, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye -bye.